Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be working on a couple different things. This is uh, going to be a sketch of a little witch. I'm sure you've seen the picture in the uh, in the title description, but it's also a good opportunity to work on a female form. You know, I start with like an hourglass, couple basic shapes, and getting just a rough idea down of how I want the figure positioned. And I'm t taking time on things like the face, um, you know, making sure the proportions are right. If I want to do something realistic, I want to make sure and, you know, and have proportions right on. If I'm doing something cartoony like this, I can be a little, you know, more free with uh, how big I make the eyes and the smile, that kind of thing. So... You know, uh, features are a little bit exaggerated. So, you want to get some basic things down, like the wardrobe, because whenever you go to ink it in, you want as much done as possible, so there's l not a lot of guesswork in uh, when you're doing, like, the final stage of inking. So... You see, we're we're getting uh, we're getting somewhere with this one. We got a lot of work done already. We sketched in the hands and the basic form. She's got her right hand on her hip and her other arm extended. Think we're gonna add a a broom. She's got to be swooping in on something. So. A little sketching. Now, you're going to also get in some shading because that's where you're going to have some major blacks. So it looks like we're just about ready to do some uh, ink work. So maybe we need to darken in the hat a little bit. couple details on the broom. And, oh yeah, she needs a buddy. So we'll add her a bat in there. And, uh, yeah, looks like we're ready for ink. So we're going to use a brush. And we're going to make solid strokes. You know, we want to try to use as much of the brush as we can and get really expressive movement with the brush. Again, you want to take some time and make sure you do the face and eyes, nose, that sort of thing, all very carefully so that it doesn't look uh, rushed or you don't make an accident and with the ink. Because sometimes you can slip with the brush. It's very tricky to get a solid line all the time. So you're going to have to take time in some areas. Some, some places you can, you know, just... Have a little fun and move quickly with it, but some things you want to take your time with, like right in here, the little bat, the hair, that sort of thing, you want to be you know, pretty accurate with. When we start coloring in, you know, large areas of black, like the hat right here, you can be a little more relaxed and a little more loose with stuff. It helps uh, get some of the jitters out. You know, when I was doing this uh, this tutorial right here, my dogs were in the same room with me. And uh, one of them barked, I mean, exactly at the right moment when I was doing the, the, the broom. And it actually helped out a little bit because, you know, it made the broom a little more of a... <laughs> like a scraggly looking sort of a broom. I don't know if that's exactly the look I was going for, you know. This is kind of like a, a chic, sort of a fashion conscious witch, if you will. I mean, she's got a nice outfit and such, so why would she be flying around on a, on a scraggly broom, honestly? But anyway... Moving on, <clears throat> we've got, uh, you know, some clothing and such that we're uh, 
coloring in here. Now, the clothing, because it has a color, it's supposed to be black. We're going to add more uh, dark than, say, the, the skin, you know, the flesh. It'll, you know, the flesh is still going to have some dark where her hands and her leg is showing a little bit here and there. You know, you see there's a shadow on her neck and on her breast. So these areas are, uh, you know, going to have some, some shading. But the clothing especially, you're going to leave only a small area of light as a highlight. But it is comparable. So when you look at the clothing and you look at the arm, there's, you know, a similar amount of black, you know, because it's a similar form. But, yeah, making a bolder line on the clothing is helpful also. Wherever there is something draping over, like the arm, the left arm goes over the left leg a little bit. I made a bolder line on top of that to indicate kind of a, a cast shadow. Same thing on her knee and, uh, you know, wherever she's going to be sitting on the broom, there'll be a little shadow and such. Yeah, you know, some things you want to take care of too, like I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do the foot, how dark I wanted to make it. So I'm doing the stuff around it first so that whenever I do make a decision about how dark I want to make that back foot, it balances with the stuff around it, you know? So if there's something you're not sure about, just give it a second. Do the stuff around it that you're sure about and you'll uh, have a better time deciding what to do with that spot, you know? So I think I ended up just coloring it all in black. I figured, you know, it would be a nice balance. There's a lot of darkness in the image already. So that uh, kind of helps add some weight to it. Same thing with the um, with the boot and such. I wanted to have some darkness in there and do little tiny details. Add in, uh, you know, everything that you missed the first time around. Because typically you start from the top and you move down when you're using this brush. Oh, can't forget her little friend over there. You know, that's actually Dracula. I'm sure of it. He's just... That's how he gets around. But, uh... Anyhow, get the broom in there. But, uh, I was saying that you want to start from the top and work down with the brush. The reason is because, uh, of course, the ink is wet. And if you were to start at the very bottom and work up, your hand is going to work into that wet ink. So, and right about here is where my dog decided to bark and scare me. It was, you know, pretty good for the scraggly little details in the, br in the uh, broom there. So get all that stuff in. That's just about the, the final stages when you start, you know, really getting tiny little details and such, you end up with something about like this after a signature. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time.
Wow, that scared me so bad. You guys, <laughs> you're lucky I'm doing straw. Look at that, that's a scary line right there. Step it, please.